What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be discussing the balance changes, so we're going to get right into this. Alright, so first balance change, Goblin Curse. It is getting a nerf. Radius minus 25%. It's going from 4 tiles to 3 tiles. 3 tiles is less than a poison. 3 tiles is literally the size of a void spell, and I looked, I made sure it's the size of a void spell. So that's kind of insane to me. That it's going to three tiles maybe if it was the size of poison it would be a bit better i don't know and then the damage multiplier is going from 35 to 20. that's crazy the card started at a 50 percent damage multiplier and now it's going down to 20 percent the only thing i have to question is like does super salt test their cards like actually give them a good few days a week or two testing because this is kind of absurd how a card could go from 50% damage multiplier down to 20%. That's fit. That's like divided by a two less than it was. It's 50% less than it used to be. 50% more than it used less than it used to be. That's really insane in my opinion. Goblin demolisher nerf, death damage radius. That definitely is needed because I've seen a few like things in my uh, games where the goblin demolisher like should not be able to hit the tower with its death damage so it is a little insane and then our death radius and then the death damage going down 13 percent to 465 hit points to 404 now that 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 is pretty needed too just because the damage on its normal explosives is pretty fair in my opinion like a normal dynamite is pretty fair but it is the death damage that is a lot all right so goblin machine nerf HP going down 15%. That is a pretty big amount. Like 15% of, of a card's health is a really large amount. That's almost one fifth of its whole like health. So that's a pretty large amount. I mean, in my opinion, first hit time 0.2 seconds to 0.5. That's pretty fair in my opinion. Rocket first hit time 1.5 to 2.5. I feel like maybe they should leave it at two or 1.5 just because the fact that they did nerf the rocket is kind of like eh in my opinion. Like the fact that they're nerfing it even more. But that's just my opinion. Prince nerf, charge distance plus 33%, one5 from 1.5 to 2 tiles. That's really fair in my opinion. Prince was super overpowered at 1.5 tiles. And it, it it did need the buff because at 3 tiles it was kind of bad. But 2 tiles seems pretty fair. Or maybe even if they made it 2.5 tiles if 2 tiles is still too overpowered. Ram Rider gets the same buff. Or same uh, nerf, my bad. And um, Ram Rider doesn't really feel like she needed it as much as the nerf. Be or uh, as much as the prince just because obviously the prince could target troops and then as soon as it kills a troop it pretty much automatically charged again but ram rider really only gets like two chances to charge if depending if they have a building so i, I feel like ram rider could have stayed the same honestly this nerf i hate evo wizard nerf shield hp minus 20 percent before 371 and after 296 what the hell supercell dude supercell released this card with its intention to get its shield killed by arrows and then they said you know what we're gonna buff it so it doesn't get killed by arrows and now what are they doing they're making it worse than it was on release so now it will get killed by arrows although it doesn't get killed by log because level 11 log only does 290 hit points compared to the 296 the sh the shield is gonna have the fact that it just dies to arrows is going to be so annoying. It's just the fact that they literally buff the card so it wouldn't die to arrows. And then they nerf it even harder than it was on release. is just so annoying to me. I don't know. They just need to test their cards, in my opinion. And just do some really hard testing if they want to make severe changes like this. And make the whole meta change. And make freaking just interactions change. It gets really annoying. Because then you just have to continuously change like your mindset and how you think about different interactions. So... Oh, that kind of annoys me. Dagger Duchess nerf, depleted hit speed minus 14%. Once again, this nerf also really annoys me. I honestly really enjoyed the original Dagger Duchess without the nerfs. Even with the HP nerf, I think it was still pretty fair, being that if you everyone was getting the Dagger Duchess, and at that point, it's like, since everyone has it, it's pretty much is kind of fair, but they kept nerfing it and keep nerfing it. Depleted hit speed, I'm pretty sure... That's pretty much like when it's done with its daggers, it's going to reload even more time now. So that's going to suck even more. The fact that they like uh ruin the damage on it and buff its hit speed, but are now nerfing the depleted hit speed. That just, I don't know, that just kind of sucks in my opinion. 
All right, so we're just going to go to the card evolution. Obviously, I'm pretty sure a lot of you, a lot of you guys have seen this. Has someone lost a ha hashtag card evolution? I'm pretty sure most of you know this is probably Goblin Giant. Even if I scroll down, people are saying freaking the hat looks identical or am I wrong? And it does look identical. You can see it literally looks like those two freaking um stitches or like straps literally just got replaced by the gemstone. And then you still have the two stitches on top too. Like if you go up to here, you can still see there's two stitches then probably two stitches in the back. That's literally what the Goblin Giant has. The only other card I could think about what this is is maybe Executioner because Executioner sells the two stitches, but it doesn't have the same design. And plus it would show the Executioner's face. So like, I don't know why they would do that. And then also it could be Mother Witch, but obviously the closest thing is Goblin Giant. And Mother Witch has like a whole like freaking cloak on type of thing, not like a hat. So I honestly don't see any other card but Goblin Giant being this. Maybe Bomb Tower because Bomb Tower does have the type of hat and stitches too. But it doesn't look anything near like the Goblin Giant. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, you guys.